Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is uh, Jason Matthew. This is the second video I'm going to put it in the series that I started with uh, understanding RF. In that video, I tried to explain how uh, these uh, wall types and attenuation areas are going to affect the RF. And um, I use the Akahu tool, the similar same tool that you are seeing now. I use the same tool to simulate that scenarios and uh, see the graphical interpretation of uh, how the RF is going to behave uh, with all these wall types and everything. So uh, this will be uh, the part two. In this one, I'm going to uh, show you one of the other uh, major point we have to understand when we talk about RF. There is nothing uh, but the basic wireless thickness strength from the AP and the uh, client sides. Right now, in this particular setup, let me talk about this setup. Uh, you can see uh, one AP here. So I put the name as AP and the other side, I put the simulated AP, but you consider that guy as a wireless client because we are, we are talking about uh, something related to a wireless client. So there is no way to simulate a client in this particular tool. So I thought of uh, putting an AP uh, and that can be used for explaining this power level kind of thing. So uh, we have the setup. Let me go to the uh, settings here, show you this AP. So this AP, I selected 3800i, 3800i and it's a ceiling mounted then uh, 2.4 radio is down i i made it off then i have um, radio 2 that is uh, yeah, ac 11 ac radio as you can see here uh, the power level i set it as uh, 23 dbm uh, because that's the maximum power level available on the ap so i set that as uh, 23 dbm and we have three uh, special streams on this one so that that's a, a basic ap that uh, we are using aps 3800 but when we talk about the client i am actually using the same ap here uh, no difference we have wireless client i just renamed it as a wireless client but this is basically an ap just consider this ap as a client so that i will be able to explain and it can correlate with that here also i set my power level into 23 dbm uh, basically client and ap is running with the same power level uh, in this particular uh, model that i am going to put it now and um, the other thing you have to keep it in mind is uh, what is the uh, antenna gain so when we talk about this 3800 uh, this is the console of 3800 and i already uh, taken the output of that ap we talked about this one how, how to understand the ap in uh, one of other videos so you can refer that what are the things you have to keep it in mind but uh, when you are seeing here you can see the antenna gain as five so the, this is the antenna gain of the internal antenna type on uh, 3800 so this is 3800i and uh, this is the uh, this is the antenna gain of that internet internal antenna so uh, you have to consider this gain when you are uh, talking about the power level on the other side so as you can see here when you edit the uh, access point you can see the power level is set it as uh, 23 dbm but there is another uh, value uh, here you can see it as uh, eirp and you can see this one as 28 dbm so this is uh, actually adding your uh, radio tx power plus antenna gain is the uh, uh, is the uh, total eirp so you can see that uh, see that below that tool tape that talks about this value basically the eirp is the um, the radio uh, signal strength going out uh, in total that include these two so you have to keep that in mind uh, when you are uh, setting these values and all because antenna gain will add uh, add into this one so basically you are able to transmit something how much you are able to receive right so it's kind of a sensitivity kind of thing how much you can listen to if you are increasing the antenna gain uh, the sensitivity kind of level will increase and you will be able to listen more th uh, to the client uh, client side so you keep that in mind we'll touch upon it uh, when we are simulating things in the background okay so now let's see how this one is going to uh, behave in your network and the graphical interpretation of the same thing you have one ap and one client how this rf is going to work to each other so i also did some marking uh, like uh, as you can see here um, these markings these nodes are added based on the power levels so i'm going to enable uh, signal strength 
uh, view and uh, you can see here uh, i set the uh, simulation with uh, 67 as a boundary i'm going to select this ap so that you will be able to see the uh, coverage of that ap so i selected it now we can see that this ap is broadcasting your ssid and this particular wireless client it's inside the range of 60 and 65 and uh, when i place my mouse pointer here you will be able to see the signal strength and it's between uh, 60 to 65 okay uh, so basically 64 you are receiving around 64 i'm going to enable now think about uh, this client is coming into picture and this client is also getting enabled so now you can see this client is also uh, showing the coverage uh, in the background and as you can see here this client is able to uh, showcase the rssis 42 and uh, it's listening to the ap in 64 and the other side we have um, 38 uh, like i just placed closer to the ap so it's showing as 38 but again 64 from the other side so ap is able to see the client with uh, minus 64 and client is able to see the ap in minus 64 so basically both the guys are uh, in the range and you are able to uh, see to see uh, see the ap's each other so now this is the uh, one of the uh, good example that uh, your ap and client is not that far it's in under that range you can support the voice and everything so it's not going to have any issues uh, in the uh, wireless coverage or the performance side this is not the recommended way you can get better rf signal by uh, getting uh, closer to each other but just just consider this one is an ideal scenario kind of thing now let's talk about the issue here as you can see here this particular ap is blasting out with um, 23 the power level one and it's able to uh, send this good signal strength uh, to your uh, client side but when we talk about ap this ap is 3800 ap and this ap is going to get the power from poe or a power adapter used in the background you are getting uh, power supply from a poe switch with 30 watt uh, power supply you have one of the best radios available on the ap and it can broadcast like anything but just think about the client point of view we are talking about a client that is uh, running with a small power supply or maybe it's actually running with a battery not not even power supply don't even consider the laptop you consider a mobile or you consider a uh, tablet or something like that if you have that kind of scenario definitely you know that you are not going to get the same capabilities of your ap right so that's the reality you have to accept it because you have less power supply less power backup then you have to consider that when you are talking about wireless so in the wireless world you don't have any wireless clients that is having or showcasing the same capabilities of the ap on the other side because there will be limitation on the client side compared to an access point access point will have better capacity capabilities and everything i'm going to think about this client point of view this client right now is an access point but so just consider this one uh, this client this wireless client is an ipad or uh, any apple device in the background normally the apple devices like uh, tablet and uh, mobiles and all it will function with uh, like with the power level between 9 to 14 dbm so that's a value i can find some uh, find in the internet i will not be able to prove that uh, in this video but uh, just consider these clients are actually using between 9 to 14 so we'll do one thing we'll cut it in the middle so just consider the apple ipad here is going to function with 11 dbm i'm not taking the minimum as 9 or 7 i'm not taking the highest as 14 i'm just cutting it in the middle as 11 dbm and i'm going to apply the power level of 11 dbm for this ap so as you can see here that level dbm 11 dbm changes a lot of things in the background the coverage level is uh, decreased uh, further so now we can go back and see the value here so when i set the 11 dbm you can see the earp is also got reduced to uh, from 28 to 16. so uh, you will not be able to uh, see that uh, 16 when you are setting 11 for the uh, client side because i don't think uh, 5 uh, 5 dba uh, antenna gain will be there for um, 
uh, for Apple devices. So, but anyway, so right now this is simulated way. Just consider that uh, EARP is 16, and your power level is set it as um, 11 dBm. TX power is set it as 11 dBm. Okay, now uh, you know your uh, client is working with 11, and your AP is functioning with uh, 23 dBm. Now let's see the same math between wireless AP and the client. Now in the uh, in this model, you can see that okay, uh, this AP is going to cover uh, this particular client uh, between uh, minus 60 and 65. Now let's uh, see how this particular wireless client is listening to your AP. So I'm going to place my mouse pointer so that I can see the value. And as you can see here, wireless client is able to listen to your AP with RSSI of 64. Now, uh, let's move this client uh, closer to AP. So I'm going to put it near 60. And uh, let's see how uh, this client is actually able to listen to our AP. So I'm going to place my mouse pointer here. And you can see here, I'm listening to the AP with minus 60 RSSI. So when I'm saying minus 60, that uh, client will, if you, that client will obviously say that okay i'm getting a good uh, signal strength from the ap but what is the reality on opposite direction so i'm going to place mouse pointer here play, uh, closer to ap and you can see that your client is visible to the ap with the uh, power level of 72 minus 72 that means you are actually out of the boundary of uh, getting a voice good quality voice traffic but when we talk about uh, this client is moved around uh, in the boundary and uh, same scenario, you can see that, let's wait for that. You can see that this client is having minus 78. So I'm not uh, saying that uh, minus 78, uh, your client will not be able to serve anything or something like that. But uh, the problem is this is not the recommended way to do it. Because you have to, when you are uh, planning out something on your network, you have to always think about your coverage from the client point of view. So we have line of sight and everything, but always keep that in mind. You should have your RF design that matches the power levels on both the sides, AP and the uh, client side. So always design for the client, not for the AP. I'm not saying that uh, everyone makes this mistake most of us uh, knows uh, how to do this stuff but some of us actually does this mistakes when you are uh, designing your rf always uh, try to uh, keep that distance in the ideal scenario so that your client will be able to adjust the power level and it can give the optimal performance on uh, wireless on both the sides like in the uh, transfer uh, side data transfer side also the power consumption point of view and everything in ideal scenario you should find out uh, what is the client capabilities and you have to define an rf uh, in a such a way that uh, your ap and the client are actually having a matching uh, set of power levels when you are uh, designing your rf you consider uh, the uh, client power level so here uh, this is the power uh, from the client point of view and here I'm going to set the similar power level so let me set this one into 11 as the maximum I'm going well, just consider this value is set, uh, set on your TPC side so we have uh, uh, the power level set here now uh, this values are no more uh, relevant now I'm going to move my AP here now uh, you can see that this particular AP, sorry, the client is listening to the AP with uh, RSSI of 65. And this side, you can see that uh, AP is also listening to the client in uh, uh, RSSI of 64. I can't say this is the perfect uh, example, but uh, at least the capabilities are matching. So you, you uh, plan for your RF based on um, your client type. So when you are hearing about wireless issues like uh, frequent disconnection, uh, roaming issues, performance issue and all, that can be because of one of this issue, one of this reason, like something like this.
means your client is able to listen to your ap but your client is not capable enough to reach back to the ap so this can be the uh, reason for your issues if you are uh, leaving the tx power level into rrm you always make sure you are setting the right power level on the ap side so that you are actually matching with the um, uh, client capabilities if you're not matching it you can face any kind of weird issues in your network so I hope uh, this video helps you to understand this uh, difference between the capabilities on AP and the client side. And uh, I hope uh, you will be start uh, considering this one when you are uh, designing something on the RF side. So we'll stop this video here and uh, see you see you in the next video. Thank you for watching.